What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So yeah, basically we're just gonna be doing some big swim bait fishing again. Um, got the little John boat out. Uh, it's been a little while since I've been fishing. It's been like maybe two or three weeks. It's been kind of busy lately and haven't gotten the chance to, but um, we're basically in, I'd say like early winter right now. Basically all the leaves are falling off the trees. I'm guessing the water temperatures dropped quite a bit. I think I looked earlier and it said that it was like 50 something degrees. I'm not sure if it'll drop too much more throughout the winter. I'm, I'm guessing it'll be around like 46 in the dead of winter and then it'll start to warm back up. But for right now it's still in the 50s so it's not too cold and we're gonna see if we can get on a bite today i'm guessing that the um that kind of fast reaction style bite is going to be kind of off now because i'm guessing they're going to be more onto that slower moving bait style so i got a huddleston tied on i got a glide bait and i still got the bull shad tied on but we're gonna see what happens so stay tuned guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's see if we can get some fish All right guys, so just got on the lake. Right now I'm gonna start off with this little glide bait. This is the, uh, the new one I just got. I just did unboxing on this and also some other baits. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave that in the link in the description below. But yeah, I'm gonna start off with a glide bait. It's gonna be a little bit slower moving. I'm gonna be working a little bit slower. I, I, I'm hoping that there's still a reaction bite going on. I have to move over to the Huddleston or something that's gonna be a little bit slower on the bottom. I'm gonna be starting off doing this because it's a little bit slower than that bull shad. And uh, I'm just throwing that light trout color. Starting off around this bridge, probably make my way into basically the same as what I've been fishing. Uh, just might work it a little bit deeper this time. There we go, got one guys. Oh, it's a giant, it's another giant. Oh my God. Oh yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go guys. Hell yes. Oh, it's another giant. Oh man. I'm thinking six pounds again. That's what I'm talking about, guys. He was up pretty shallow too for, for how late it is in the winter or how late it is in the fall. He was up there. Yes! All right. Let's, uh... Four by four bull shot. I switched over to that. Nice, nah, probably like five pounds actually. I said six, but I think around five or six maybe. Boom! All right, let's uh, let's get him back in the water for a little bit while I get everything ready. That was kind of unexpected. Like I don't even know how to explain it. For everyone wondering what I do when I catch a fish, this is what I like to do. So I stick them in the water. I have the fish lip grips tied onto another rope, tied onto a little thing. Basically, it's, he's just tied off to the side of the boat while I get everything ready, um, so I don't keep him out of the water for so long. This back here. So I get all my stuff out. Fishboard ready. Get the scale ready. And he's just in the water. So try not to uh, st stress him out too much. Try not to even keep him out of the water for too long. But, um, you know, that's just what I do. You know, uh, yeah. And so after I get everything ready, get him out. Get on weight on him first. If 
five pounds, five pounds, 13 ounces. Yeah, five pounds, 13 ounces, almost six pounds, pretty close, about five and three quarters. Let's get a measurement on her now. Saw about 22 and a half, eh, about 23. Yeah, I call it about 23. Let's flatten this out. Whoa, buddy. All right, you're all right. You're all right. Sorry, bud. Let's, uh, yeah, so there's his nose right there. About 20. Yeah, about 23 inches. Almost six pounder at 23 inches, about the same as that last six pounder that I caught. Another nice one. This time on the uh, on the bull shad, on the, this time on the four x four bull shad. You guys saw me unbox that in my last video. Nice fish. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get a quick set up. Get him back in the water for just a second while I set everything up for a quick picture. Phone ready actually. They slide around on this thing. This is my first time using my new measuring board. Boy, do they slide. All right, that's about good. more pictures on the GoPro and get a release on her. Look at that. Five pounds, 13 ounces on that bull shad. That thing keeps getting it done for me. Same same area too as those last couple big ones. The water's pretty dang cold guys. Oh that's a good release. Alright guys another fish on the big swim bait. This time it came off of the uh, 4x4 bull shad. This, that was actually the second fish that I caught on this. I know the last video that I posted was me unboxing this thing. Uh, I went fishing, I think like two days after I did the unboxing video, and I only caught one fish, it was a smaller one, but I still um, still caught one, and I, I haven't been skunked yet on the big swim baits. I haven't caught more than one fish in a day, but I haven't been skunked, so knock on wood. Don't want to uh, don't want to jinx myself, but another solid fish on the big swim bay. I'm gonna keep fishing. We're still still pretty early in the day. What time is it? I got out here around like 12 or 1, and it's uh, it's only 2 o'clock. So I'm gonna keep fishing. See if we can get some more guys. Stay tuned. See if we can get some more fish.
All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I'm home now. It might look a little bit different in the background. That's because I, I moved into a different room in my house. Um, I got a little bit more room down here. I moved into the basement. So I've been kind of busy with this. That's why I haven't really been posting too much in the last few weeks. But that's uh, besides the point. Uh, I just wanted to add a few things before I ended the video. So first thing I want to talk about is using those fish grips as sort of a live well to, to keep that fish in the water and not, um, you know, suffocate it or drown it. What, what do fish do when they when they die from being out of the water. Because we drown when we're not, but we suffocate. To, I don't know, what do you call that? I don't know, but I didn't want to kill the fish by keeping it out of the water too long. So what I did is I was getting them on the fish grips and putting them in the water. Uh, I do the same thing when I'm on my kayak. So if you are a kayak angler and you, you're trying to find a way to keep this fish alive and not keep them out of the water for too long, you know, that works great. Um, if you have a live well, then, you know, that's even better. Uh, it's like a little fish jail that you can keep it in and keep it alive that sounds bad but it's, it's true you know you, you keep the fish in there it's 100 percent like it's not going to escape um, the likeliness of it escaping from the fish grips is very low but it could be possible you never know what could happen so so just know when you put it off to the side of the boat with like the fish grips or something like there's a chance they could get away but it's, it's not likely so I, I trust them pretty well get yourself a good pair of fish grips and that should work fine you know get yourself some rope some paracord or something so you can tie the fish off of the side of the boat too. Don't give it too much slack, but just enough so it can get in the water, kind of swim around a little bit, get some water going through its gills. And then also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I caught the fish from when I first hooked into it to when I released it, I basically tried to make no cuts. I tried to make it real time. So I left everything really raw, all the clips just raw time, like no cuts to try to cut out like the silent parts or the awkward parts or whatever when I'm, I'm not really saying anything. Or I try to just keep it real time so you guys can see exactly how long it takes me to do all this. So I went from when I hooked that fish, got it in the boat, took the hooks out, uh, got the weight on it, got the measurements on it, got some pictures. It only took me a little bit over six minutes to do all that. And for a good amount of time, that fish spent in the water on the fish grips. So I really didn't spend that much time out of the water. Um, and I really suggest doing that. You know, the more that that fish can spend in the water, the less it's gonna be stressed out, less it's gonna have a chance of dying and stuff. So that's just what I like to do. It, I mean, it, it probably would have survived if I just kept it out of the water the whole time, but I, why would you do that when you have the option to to, to put it back in the water you know these fish you know you really want to take as best care as possible of these big fish you want them to be able to go back and and live a happy life and pass that gene on you know make tons of babies so you know whatever made that fish get so big it could be passed on to more fish and you can catch those fish later on and you know it's just it's just a better better way to, of of handling it so so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to leave a like if you want to see more make sure to subscribe Share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's December 13th right now, so I don't know if I'm getting another video out before Christmas or the New Year. So if I don't, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.